Well, I'm on the ocean today. Um, I'm at the um, Hammock Dunes. It, it, it's a very nice place. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's, it's kind of like a very rich subdivision, but there's a couple of public entrances to the beach, and it's kind of nice. It's pretty good shells, shells here. Boy, it's really windy uh, today, and it's... Uh, 87 at this time, 3.33 in the afternoon. But um, we're starting First John in our reading through the Bible. We'll be in that, not First John, but the Gospel of John, Chapter 1. I actually spoke on it during the week, uh, verses 1 to 12. Kind of got ahead of myself. Um, we were actually... Today is actually, uh, I believe, one of the 25 or 28. But I, I looked at that on Tuesday. Or was it Thursday? Tuesday, I believe. Whatever, this past week. And um, finished up on John 1, 12. As many as received him, Jesus Christ, to them may be the power to become the sons of God even if they believe upon his name and we'll be continuing um, tomorrow's reading and actually in the New Testament is is in um, John chapter 1 ending that chapter we'll be talking about that the Old Testament is it's we're in Kings now and we've just um into some interesting things that um, uh, the kings after Solomon and a lot of different problems in the uh, the kings the Jews had to have a king had to have a king like the world see a lot of times God's people want worldly things, and that's a problem today. Most Christians and most most uh, churches today that are called, uh, oh, I guess they call themselves mostly like community churches, or uh, I don't know why they love this so much, but they love uh, crossroads this and crossroads that, and I don't know. They, they have these... Um, big hype producer type people and they tell you what to name your church and to try to grab people so um, so they're getting a bunch of social clubs together today not old fashioned fundamental bible believing churches that preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and teach repentance remission of sins as the Bible taught and as Jesus said, repent least you likewise perish. They, they're all given up today and, uh, and people love it. Tell you the Bible's gonna tell you how to get the best out of your life. Well, the first thing the Bible's gonna tell you is to repent, but these new mega churches and a lot of them that are a lot smaller and a lot of them that are real small, they try to pick up on it too and they try to get them a nice little social club going where I was talking to a Christian was it yesterday and they just just don't like it at all uh, when you talk about um, sin or repentance and it's just shouldn't be mentioned and of course like I'm accused of often that just too negative well the problem with the world today is it's sin laden and unrepentant sinners and it's about to have the wrath of God come upon it. Many cities are, many people are having the wrath of God come upon them. But um, the New Deal led by the mega churches is um, they have some nice little 7-Eleven music, you got 
seven words, say them 11 times. None of the words have much to do with the Bible, not much Bible in it at all. Dance around a little bit, play a little rock music, play a little rap music. Then give your philosophy of life, of how um, they call it Christianity. The Bible doesn't at all. Uh, they give their little um, speech and give their little speeches every week and try to make you become somebody. And they say that it's backed by the Bible. It isn't at all. It's very anti-Bible, actually. The Bible calls for repentance and submission following in humbleness, humility, obeying the scriptures. These modern day churches, just not the deal at all. I'm sorry to hear say that really, but it's what it is. And we've got most churches leading people to hell, no repentance, no, no, no born again experience, no true salvation, but that's the way it is. So I just do all I can like John the Baptist did call out like uh, Jeremiah the weeping prophet all the prophets in the Old Testament the real prophets those that um, modern day not a whole lot of it going on in the modern day get your King James Bible it's the word of God the English language repent Psalm 139, search me, O God, and try me. See if there be any wicked way in me. Lead me in the way of everlasting. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Romans 10.13, that was 8 and 9, I just quoted. Romans 10.13 says, Whosoever... Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's it. I was saved April 4th, 1969. I hope you've been saved. I've got so many stories of so-called conversions and so-called testimonies and so-called born-again experiences have nothing to do with born again. And, and uh, that, that's just the way it is. And, so we got a lot of churches, a lot of people today in what we call evangelical churches. They claim to be born again Christians, but don't understand the first thing about it. We don't know about repentance, and turning and following the Bible, and turning from your worldly ways. You don't know about being born again. All they do today in most of these modern churches that claim to be evangelical. They're just social clubs. Uh, some of them don't drink. Some of them even drink. They say that's okay too. Moderation, moderation, moderation. <laughs> yeah, no. Abstain, abstain, abstain. Moderation and everything. Just don't be no. Abstain. Repent. Turn. I got text out the other day. Made some people unhappy. To turn or burn. <laughs> had the scripture to back it up. But that's the way people are. Heard me preaching tomorrow and preaching the old time gospel. Be baptizing tomorrow. Got some new people coming, new families. And God's been good. People get saved one at a time as they repent. Have you repented? Talked to someone yesterday. It's out there pretty good. Don't need to repent. If you think you're pretty good, don't need to repent. You're going to hell. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You ever repented, been saved, been converted? If not, pray this prayer with me. Now, Heavenly Father, you've told us in the scriptures that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine uh, heart, God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto salvation, and with the mouth confession is made. Only trust him. 
only trust him, only trust him now. He will save you, he will save you, he will save you now. Would you call upon him now? Is the Holy Ghost calling you? Would you yield? Would you, would you turn? Would you repent? Lord, be merciful me a sinner. I trust in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Repent of my sins. I call upon him. Save me right now, dear Lord. Save me. I ask it. Please save me. Amen and amen. Well, I hope you pray that. Come visit us, 501 Ridgewood Avenue. Meet at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Ridgewood Avenue Baptist Church, almost 100 years old. Be 100 years old uh, next year. We're 99 years old. Ridgewood Avenue Baptist. Ridgewood Avenue Baptist Church is going to be 100 next year. I pastor that church. Then Daytona Rescue Mission. Uh, we're 30 years old. Came here in 92. So come visit us tomorrow. 10 a.m. for church, 9 a.m. for Sunday school, 501 Ridgewood Avenue, Holly Hill. I hope some of you prayed and got saved today. <laughs> Baptismal service tomorrow. You've been saved. Maybe you got saved today. Come see us. If you haven't been believed, had believer's baptism, that's exactly what you're going to need, believer's baptism. So I hope you do it. Come to visit us tomorrow, 501 Ridgewood. Hope some of you got saved today. God loves you, so do I. Repent, follow Christ. Amen.